welcome to Broken Entertainment. So Disney's endless wave of cash grabs is just continuing to roll on. And this latest one, you know, we're all supposed to get angry and throw a big fit about they race swapped Snow White. But does anyone really care about Snow White? I mean, let's let's be real. In the comments, do you care about Snow White? Did you see Snow White? Do you have fond memories of Snow White? And finally, do you want live action Snow White or are you just going to ignore it and if you like Snow White, watch the cartoon? <laughs> you know, I've, I've seen the cartoon. It's well done. Uh, I don't really care that much for the story, but whatever. You know, some people really enjoy it. For some people, it's a big part of their childhood. I absolutely get that. Nothing against the original, but do we care about a live-action Snow White? Um, I don't. I don't care about a live-action Lion King, quote-unquote live-action. I don't care about a live-action Aladdin. You can't replace Robin Williams as a genie anyway, so there's not much point to begin with. But that's all Disney does now, is they make these remakes. And they're, they're all live-action. This is the studio that created itself with animation and they're de-animating things. It's weird. And, you know, the first one that I can think of goes way back to Glenn Close and 101 Dalmatians. And that was a cash grab too. Because you're, you're really, you're telling the same story, although they do make changes. They enjoy making changes to it as well. So you're not really seeing the same story. Throw a little bit of a dash of agenda in there, you know. Um, wave, wave a little, a little virtue signal in the background, but not not too hard. You don't want to, you know, commit to the bit. And then they just do these movies, and they call them a success, and the media spawns all over them. And well, now they're doing this weird thing where they're race swapping the characters, and it's getting strange. Like, The Little Mermaid, okay? The Little Mermaid is based on a myth from an area that is 100%, well, not anymore, but was, at the time was basically 100% white people. It's uh, a little weird, and... But, uh, you know, for that one, I was like, okay, you know, whatever. And now we have this one. And now it's starting to feel like a thing. Like they're going out of their way to do this. And they're wanting publicity from it. I don't even think it's Agenda. I think Agenda is probably a little bit involved. But I think, really... They're just wanting to get publicity out of it. They want people to get angry on YouTube and spread free publicity about it. And they want the people who read Virtue Signals to praise them. And they want to push their agenda just a little bit. But I, I'm not mad, <laughs> okay? I don't like race swap characters for anybody. I've said that over and over again. And I just... I don't care enough. It's Snow White. Who cares? And, you know, this article's on Bounty into Comics. I'm actually not going to get too much into the article because it mostly is an opinion piece. Um, I do want to get to this part here. This is the, uh, Rachel Zegler is, is the woman who's been cast in the role. And this is her Twitter account. It's been deleted. She says, yes, I am Snow White. No, I am not bleaching my skin for the role. No, nobody... Nobody asked you if you were... Bleaching your skin. No, no one cares. It's Snow White. Why? It's, why? 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 Why do these people have to go out there and throw shit on a fire? And try to get everyone upset and mad? And then, oh, you know, you retract it by deleting it. Like, people can't find it, obviously. 
why can't we just have an entertainment company that doesn't hate you? Why can't we have an entertainment company that doesn't go out of its way to piss off fans and doesn't go out of its way to throw fuel on the fire? You think Disney doesn't have control over these people? They tell them if they can say something or not. She went out and said, now maybe they got to her after she said this and they had her deleted, I don't know. But Disney lets this happen. They have let this happen for Star Wars for years where their actors go out and say terrible crap about fans. And I just, I don't get it. I don't get why you want to piss people off. I, entertainment should bring people together. Entertainment should be the way we escape the stresses and troubles of the world. And we've got these companies going out there trying to piss people off. Actively trying to piss people off. And allowing their creators and their their artists and so on to go out there and say things that specifically target fans and specifically bully people online. Why? It is your job as an entertainment company to entertain us. And that's it. And when you isolate people and you say, you're bad because you don't like this, and you're bad because you don't like that, and you're bad because you don't like this, and you let your creators go out there and call people names, you're the problem with the world. Disney has done terrible, terrible things. It doesn't pay its authors. It praised a board in China that runs concentration camps for Muslims. It filmed a movie in that area of China. It, it goes after people who don't like Star Wars, calling them misogynists and sexists and, you know, white supremacists and all this other crap. And it, 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 it's just ridiculous. And that's what bothers me more than this. This is just a cash grab, okay? And the sad truth of the matter is that Disney is no longer the company it used to be. It's no longer the company that entertained. It's no longer the company that made amazing animation. Even, even as recently as, as, what, six years ago or whatever, ever long ago Moana came out. Now they they take their animated movies they made in the past, they change them up a little bit. They recast people for no apparent reason. They have people going out there saying to oh if you don't like if you don't like the actress we chose for uh, Little Mermaid, it, it's because you're you know you're an ist. Well, maybe I just don't want to see the live action Little Mermaid. And I just don't really care. That's it for me. If I want to watch Little Mermaid, there's a very well-made cartoon. I'll go watch it. You know, they've done wonderful things in the past. Wonderful animation, wonderful storylines that bring families together and bring audiences together to be entertained. And they set aside their burdens for a few hours and they just enjoy the movie. And... They've done so many things like that, that people have grown up on this. You have people who grow up on Disney and love their memories of Disney. And this is what it's been reduced to. The last great, truly great Disney movie in my mind was Moana. And at the rate this company is going, it may be the last truly great thing they ever produced. Because they're not really concerned about entertainment anymore, are they? They're concerned about cash grabs. Well, we're gonna make we're we're gonna make some uh, Marvel prequels about dead characters. We're gonna make live action reboots of movies we made. Gosh, um, eighty years ago, more than eighty years ago. 
We're going to do live action reboots of movies we made not all that long ago, too. And we're going to do Indiana Jones 5. And sorry, I know at least one person that watches these videos likes Indiana Jones. And, you know, hopefully that's a good movie. But it kind of lumps in with all these, I think, a little bit. Where it's just like, why? And Snow White, I think, is the worst case. There's just not that big of an audience that, that I think is rushing out there to go see Snow White. And nobody, and I mean nobody, cares about the color of this person's skin. No one gives a, a rat's fat butt. Okay? I mean, honestly, I saw her and I'm like, sure, okay, whatever. And then I saw this post, and I'm like, oh, I guess she's a minority. I, I, you know, I couldn't really tell <laughs> just looking at her. I just don't, I don't get it. Other than it's cash grab. It's, they want to make people angry, so we bitch about it on, on YouTube and on Twitter. And then they, they want to make some money. And uh, I'm not angry. I'm just shaking my head over here going, what happened to Disney? What happened to the company that built dreams for children? Where did that go? I don't know. I think it, it may have gone uh, into the agenda bin. But I don't even know if it's that because a lot of this, a lot of these decisions aren't even agenda. They're just dumb. Go and make something new. And, you know, someone could say, well, they did. They made Ryan the Last Dragon and you panned that. Yeah, I did because go and make something new doesn't mean go and just crap something out. It means go and make something good that's new. Ryan the Last Dragon was surface level, very, very surface level. And, I mean, think about it. Its villain it w is, is smoke. Woohoo. There's a classic for you. So, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm just shaking my head over this. You know, if if people want to get up in arms, go ahead. But I, it's Snow White. This is what they want. They want you to get angry. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you next time.